Hey guys, it's Peter from Eden Food for Change. Uh, most of you know that Eden Food for Change is a food bank, but I'm not sure if you know that how important it is for us to give nutritional food out. So here at Eden Food for Change, we really focus on the rules that you have from the Canada Food Guide. So you know that plate picture that you have where half the plate is all vegetables and fruit, where most of it is vegetables, and then the other two quarters of the plate are whole grains, and then the other part is protein. So proteins being things like nuts and seeds and eggs and meat and dairy products, all those sort of things. As I was saying, we really focus on healthy foods, but often with our donations, we get a lot of unhealthy foods too. So, you know, what makes food healthy? What makes it unhealthy? Often, the difference is just the amount of nutrients that you find in things. So if something is high in, in uh, carbohydrates, uh, and low in, in protein and fat, we can almost say that, that that's unhealthy, right? But here, when we look at unhealthy food, we really are talking about things like refined sugars. So refined sugars are sugars that have been processed in such a way that all the goodness that might be associated with those sugars have been removed, so the vitamins and the minerals. Uh, we talk about with unhealthy food, a lot of fats, especially things like trans fats. And, and then we also talk about salt, you know, salt makes food taste good as a chef. We put in salt in our food to make it help it taste good, but too much salt becomes really unhealthy. And so it's important that we cut back on the amount of salt that we have in our food. Okay? And then other aspects that we need to look at is artificial sweeteners. But in the last 15 years or so here at Eden, we've really focused on good food, providing good food for the members who come and use our, our food bank because people that use our food bank come from, they're your neighbors. You know, they're people that live right on your street. They're kids that go to your school. They're, they're the parents of these uh, kids that go to your school. We all need nutritious food. So at Eden Food for Change, we really work on that nutrition. So we take at heart uh, the Canada Food Guide. We really focus on trying to make sure people who use the food bank get those sort of things. So if we don't get it donated, we have to buy it. So every week we go down to the Ontario Food Terminal and we buy almost 7,000 pounds of fresh fruit and vegetables each week to be giving out to our food bank members. So we focus on giving people lots of dairy, so milk and yogurt and things like that. We always make sure there's eggs in there. We give lots of fresh produce and then we also buy meats uh, so chicken, we buy halal chicken for the folks that require halal food because about 30% of the people that use our food bank actually require halal foods. So we have to make sure that's, that we have that there for them. Okay? So we give out lots of fruit, we give lots of dried beans, we give out canned beans as well. All these things that make nutritionally balanced food. So we give out vegetables, we give out canned vegetables, we give out pastas and whole grains. All those things that you see on that Canada Food Guide, that's what we need to give out. So it's really important for us that we give out that balanced diet to everybody that comes to Eden for food. So many times at Eden Food for Change, we have to decide what is healthy. And so we have to actually look at the nutritional labels of items to make sure that we give our core food that we give out is really healthy food. So we look at things like the difference between baked beans and pinto beans. You know, both of them are beans, but which one is more nutritious and which one should we focus more on? It's really important that we, we know our food labels and so we spend a lot of time trying to make sure we have that nutritious food. Sometimes the choices are easy, but, but sometimes they're quite hard. So I'll give you an example. So we give out green lentils and we also give out rice. Both are found in a nutritious diet. But which one is more nutritious than other things that seemingly are more fun to eat? Uh, maybe they seem to you that they could be nutritious. Okay, so we look at pasta, okay? Is pasta nutritious? Because we also look at noodle dishes like this packaged one, and we wonder, is that more nutritious? So we have to look at the different labels for these foods to judge whether it's nutritious food or just food we're going to give people but we don't give it to them because it's nutritious it's just because they like to eat these sort of things so that's really the really tough part of running a food bank 
is knowing which food is healthy, which food is not, and making sure people get lots of healthy food uh, first. That's our primary concern at a food bank, is making sure you get nutritious food so that you can have a healthy lifestyle.